Vincenzo is a very happy four and a half month old baby. He's a very normal baby. Um, he acts like any other baby. He has his moments, um, but it's he's a he's a very happy baby. Smiles a lot, uh, drools a lot. <laughs> Charlie is a sixth grader. He's a straight A student. He is in the band. He plays for the middle school soccer team. He's on a swim team. A couple of years down the road, these babies do not act different. These babies are, you would not know that these babies ever had to go through what they had gone through. Follow up with gastroschisis will be with the pediatrician and the pediatric surgeon, basically. It's all referable to the intestine. Families have to pay really close attention to their, their growth. Um, the pediatrician needs to be really involved with that as well. But all those issues, for the most part, are completely surmountable. In an infant with an omphalocele, um, really the big challenge is, is the pulmonary status. So babies with a small omphalocele, they just need follow-up with their pediatrician and, and with their pediatric surgeon, and that's about it, and the long-term outcomes are great. Babies with giant omphalocele are those that need to be followed closely, and it's best to be followed by a multidisciplinary team. At the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, we have a pulmonary hypoplasia program that follows infants with small lungs. There is a pediatric surgeon there, a neonatologist there, developmental follow-up, gastroenterology, pulmonology, uh, nutrition, all those things for the family's convenience and for optimal care are brought to the child as opposed to the child being brought to each of those separate providers. So I think that's the way of the future for long-term follow-up.